Carlo's name, it all began with an Instagram post by the user previously mentioned. It reads as follows. I've been absent because very strange things have been taking place in my home. I was supposed to post this on the 20th, but did not do so because I was afraid. On January 2nd, I began noticing that something strange and paranormal was occurring. On December 31st, my dog, Versapus, was stolen, but he mysteriously reappeared in my house the morning of January 4th. Carlos goes on to tell us that it is impossible that the dog was in his house the entire time, that the dog was obviously taken, but he does not know why it was returned. His door was always locked at nighttime. My security cameras revealed that a red Jetta took him. This raises an important question. How is it possible that the dog made its way back inside the house? Carlos continues. As I said, strange things began happening on January 2nd. That same day, I found the following in my backyard. Cough syrup, a pack of cigarettes, and my own notebook and a medium-sized jacket. As Carlos continues to investigate, things only get more bizarre. Upon opening his notebook, the man finds the following hundreds if not thousands of incomprehensible words but perhaps the most disturbing point that carlos goes on to make is that the writing resembles that of his mother's the other things apart from the notebook did not belong to a neighbor or the man who does his yard work this following video shows us the scene Here is something strange that has also been taking place. Since last Thursday, I've started receiving text messages that make zero sense, asking me for help. The phone number comes up as unknown. From there, Carlos shows us screen captures taken directly from his cell phone. These included a set of coordinates. Upon searching these coordinates in Google Maps, Carlos finds the following location not too far from his home in Hidalgo, Mexico. Three houses with an interwoven road that leads to nowhere. On January 10th, as if things couldn't get any worse, something horrifying takes place. It is 4.22 a.m. and we woke up because someone is coughing in my garden. The caption reads, apparently there is nothing. But his state of mind changes almost immediately when he realizes what the visitors left at the front entrance. It was a portrait of his grandfather who had passed away some time before. Then we get a video of his apartment. In the following video, Carlos, with his maid and dog, leave the house to visit his neighbors. By then, Carlos had enough. The next day, security cameras were set up around the property. The man then shares with us a theory as to why he thinks this is all taking place. Back in the year 2018, I decided to pay the page Memeflix, which has a large following, to publish some of my videos. In these videos, I might have made some comments that I shouldn't have. Meanwhile, we receive yet another update. Carlos notices something strange taking place in their room at the end of one of his hallways. He tells us that he swears on his mother that a white figure emerged from the spot. Following a series of videos, 
Carlos takes a picture from the patio in his house with the caption, there is nothing. Police then arrive to investigate the scene. Just as they were searching the second floor, the sound of running footsteps was heard leaving the property. Carlos, on another post, is seen visibly sick from the whole situation. Thankfully, an officer spent the whole night protecting the location. Then, the shocking news. One of his viewers pointed out that in the picture of the patio, there was someone sitting in the background. The dog had also been showing signs of stress. At 2.39 a.m., Carlos is awoken by a falling object. It was a set of his books and a porcelain Pinocchio which broke upon impact. This incident led to a final determination. Carlos packed his things and decided it was time to go. But before requesting a cab through the landline, he noticed that the telephone system was cut off. Both him and his maid got in a vehicle and made their way to a hotel. The next day, now on their way back home, there is another update. Carlos finds yet another package in the entrance to his home. Along is the message that reads, keep this until 2021. The man decides to not open it until police arrives. Then, almost completely out of topic, he posts this image, detailing the following. This is one of the paintings that I want to take out and keep with me. Heroes vs. Supervillains. What is strange is that someone seems to have written over it were Sharpies. These are some of the hidden messages. Kill for money. Lisa, save my life. To which Carlos asks himself, who is Lisa? This is another painting done by my mother. Then, Carlos receives a random phone call from a local real estate agent, telling him that his home has been for sale for the past four months. The issue is that neither Carlos or his family were selling the property. Police were then again immediately notified the package was also dropped off to them. Carlos asks himself, is someone pulling a prank on me? The security company who placed the cameras came back with information that they caught something on footage as they were sleeping. Carlos then posts a video of them on the way to this company. Upon arrival, the security team revealed that out of 12 cameras, three of them randomly stopped working. The following footage was taken in the surroundings of his property. Carlos describes, Look, I put it in slow motion. It has a tail. Carlos goes back to his home and posts a video of Rosapus acting strange and looking up at the home ventilation system. A short time later, on that same night, Carlos receives a message that made his blood run cold. Vaughn Alexander wants to share a picture with you through airdrop, accept or decline. The photo was a picture taken from right outside his property. Carlo's name begins recording when suddenly he receives another airdrop photo transfer request. This time the photo was taken from inside the house. Carlos goes on to record from his room as he sees one of the lights in the bathroom turn on. The recording continues. This is what happens next. 
sortieren wird. Ein Objekt seems to either have fallen or be thrown at Carlos, from which he receives a cut that causes bleeding. At this point, Carlos decides to leave his property and head to the hospital with his dog, Resopus, but the vehicle has punctured tires. Carlos then instead calls an ambulance to receive immediate attention. Upon arrival, the ambulance and medics help him onto the vehicle. We are able to see a shot of one of the nurses holding Resopus. Carlos shares with us that the ambulance has not moved for 15 minutes. Last time, we left off in the ambulance as the paramedics attended Carlos and looked out for the dog Resopus. Thankfully, for the protagonists of this story, the ambulance was only on standby and soon after receiving care, the duo returned back home. During the following days, Carlos tells us a bit more about his dog, where Sopus was a rescue and an incredibly loving animal. Given the amount of love that his dog received from his followers and given the undying loyalty Resopus has provided over the years, Carlos decides to throw him a party. Up to here, everything seems normal, but soon enough, it would all change. The following day, Carlos finds a cell phone. At first, he believes it was from the man in the custom. It is an iPhone 5 and it's in Portuguese. The date marks December 5th. The phone is unblocked. It has three photos and a conversation open through WhatsApp. The conversation translates to the following. This was the audio, in Portuguese, again, a language not native to Mexico. This is what happens when Carlos calls back the cell phone. At first, it says it can't locate the user. This is followed by a set of words, which the answering machine seems to keep on repeat. These words are the following. Carlos goes on to tell us that by joining the first words of the inbox, it translates to the following. They are coming to kill in November. A phrase that is repeated approximately 12 times. This is not everything. The cell phone stopped receiving service 8 days ago and I connected it to my Wi-Fi. As soon as I connected to the internet, I received two notifications from the app Maps. This application revealed two locations which are close to Carlos's house. So, in a desperate attempt to figure out more, Carlos decides to visit these locations. Carlos shares with us. This is the first location. Nothing really caught our attention. And this is the second location, an abandoned home that we decided to enter. It was abandoned and very deteriorated. It has several cleaning products labeled in Portuguese. Carlos continues to share images. 
This was a locked door that we managed to open. The next image inside the locked room reveals an empty water well with what seems to be a small cave at the bottom. Carlos continues. There is a tunnel that seems to lead to a room. Here, Carlos enters the room and reveals several religious paintings, all of which depict Jesus Christ, all of which are turned upside down. Eventually, Carlos exits the tunnel. He explains that whoever lived here was a religious fanatic. Carlos decided to head back home on that night. The weeks go by, there is peace and serenity. But just as Carlos begins to believe that the ordeal is over, he begins having recurring nightmares of a creature that drags him and his dog throughout the property. The man goes on to draw the figure and shares with us a bruise that he received during one of his nightmares. The entity seems to have a strange resemblance to whatever it was that he captured on his security camera. After several nights of recurring nightmares, one morning at 3 a.m., Carlos begins hearing music from his bedroom. At first, he believes it is coming from the living room but is surprised to find out that instead it is coming from the house next door, which also so happens to be abandoned for nearly three decades. Again, Carlos decides to enter the property with cell phone in hand. Just as he does, the music stops. But. Carlos continues. They have a picture of my home. They have my family pictures. They also have family paintings that were long believed to be lost. He then looks through the garage keyhole, but seems to catch nothing. Carlos then leaves the premise. Scared and terrified, the protagonist with dog in hand takes the desperate measure of calling a priest now that he believes it is all connected to a satanic cult. Carlos awaits patiently for the priest to arrive now that he is aware it will take several days. In the meantime, he shows us Rasopus again, acting strange. Suddenly, the motion detector goes off, alarming Carlos to call the police. Although no one was found in the area, there was an empty envelope left with a document. It was a document that revealed that Carlos had officially died some time ago, a death certificate. It's as if someone had faked his passing. At this point, Carlos and his fanbase began uncovering a specific logo that seemed to show up repeatedly throughout his stories and Instagram posts. These are the following. First, it was found on one of his windows. Then, on the following painting. Then, it was the pattern on the shirt of a man who followed him around a local store. Finally, it was also part of the map from the coordinates Carlos once visited during his investigative process.
6.48 a.m. Someone is screaming in my garden. Carlos believes initially that it is a man walking with his baby, but upon further inspection realizes that this is not true. So, armed only with a cell phone, our protagonist goes out to search on his own. Sadly, he finds absolutely nothing. That is, outside. Upon returning back home, he sees it. The place completely turned upside down. Not just that, he can also hear a baby screaming. Things go from bad to worst. tells us, there is someone outside, I can see him through the slit between the door and the wall. The man starts losing hope as things have only worsened throughout their ordeal. He then goes to his neighbor's home, which at first he had always believed to be occupied. Again, similar to a previous occasion, is also empty. At this point, from a distance, Carlos hears Risopus barking. He tries calling his dog, but it does not return. It was completely devoured by the cold and darkness of the previous night. At this point, the story has not continued. But, several YouTubers have been keeping up with the story, and some of these received a strange package in the mail from the alleged cult chasing after Carlos. These boxes contained an assortment of things, but only one in particular stands out, a video file hidden inside of a cell phone. The clip is the following. Oh, 